Okay, um, I first want to um, reiterate that um, almost all abortions um, after 20 weeks uh, have are done for medical reasons, not just by choice. So um, I don't think uh, the morality of our state is changing at all because of it. Um, I support more local government aid, um, which is why I think bonding bills are important. My opponent has voted against bonding bills, and that just um, means that money isn't coming to support our community so and supporting our um, uh, our, our uh, economies as well. Um, I think we can look at other states to see the results of Republican leadership as well, based on political ideology. Republican-controlled states have the highest rates of poverty, the lowest health care and education outcomes, and fall short even on crime. At the same time, they have passed re, uh, re laws restricting access to books, reproductive freedom, and gender-affirming care, denying us the very things they say they care about most, freedom. I don't want this for Minnesota. I believe in strengthening our communities, representing everyone, providing essential services that people need the most. Competition between communities or rural versus urban interests leads to ineffective uh, inefficiencies that destroy our prosperity, while cooperation builds prosperity. Instead of tearing each other down, let's work together, let's support one another, let's build each other up. This is how we build thriving economies and uh, thriving communities. If you think like and feel like me, I ask for your vote. Thank you. Thank you. Spencer, two minutes. Well, thank you to everyone uh, tonight who tuned in to watch. Thank you to the whole team here that put on this debate tonight. It was really greatly appreciated. Um, but I'm humbly once again asking for your vote uh, to serve as your state representative. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my life was being raised uh, in northern Minnesota in the communities that I now represent in partnership with all of you. And I, I look forward to hopefully earning that opportunity and privilege once again on November 5th. You know, together we're going to return balance to Minnesota. We're not going to see $18 billion and $10 billion in raised taxes. We're going to bring back that balance. We're going to bring all ideas uh, together to find solutions. You know, something I, I, as a joke in closing for you, I've been watching all night. 30% of us are Republicans, 30% of us are Democrats, the other 40% vote for Jesse Ventura. And if we remember that when we're talking about Minnesota, po Minnesota politics, I think we'd have a state that works better for everyone that's here. You know, I'm your pro-labor, uh, pro-law uh, uh, enforcement, pro-Second Amendment, pro-business endorsed candidate. I've, I've earned multiple endorsements from all those different groups. Uh, when it comes to bonding, I do need to make a correction because I've never voted against a bonding bill. And I'm very proud to say that because those are the men and women of labor that work in our communities. So this November, when you're going to make your decision, let's work together, this era of partnerships. It's ours to decide. We can make a Northland that works and we can make an Iron Range that's strong. We can build the world of tomorrow with the minerals under our feet. We can create a workforce that's stronger than ever before. We can have vibrant schools and we really can bring our best days to reality. But I'm asking all of you to come work together with me on that. I can't do it alone. And it's by thinking that we can do it alone, um, that's how we're going to fail. So together, let's come together. Let's keep up the work. Let's keep passing good legislation, return balance to Minnesota, uh, and together, our communities, our district, we are gonna make the lives better for all. Thank you again.